Greetings Lunarians and Brigandine fans, I'm your host Valgo Sonari coming back at you with a very quick guide video today. This is the difficulty level differences. This is posted from the English Twitter page of Brigandine The Legend of Renersia, talking about the difficulty level charts here on easy, normal, and hard. Let's go down the list and talk about the behaviors of the AI in each difficulty level. The first one we already know from the in-game menus is the deadline to conquer the continent. On easy, you have unlimited time. Normal is 5 years or 120 seasons. Hard is 2.5 years and 60 seasons. However, everything else on this list does not appear in-game telling you how the AI behaves. So looking at possibility of failing quests, on easy you can never fail quests. In normal and hard mode, you can fail quests. It doesn't actually give a percentage to normal and hard for the differences, so I'm going to assume it's the same exact percentage. I'll just chalk it up to a generic possibility. Third section is talking about chances of recruiting a knight on quests with knight icons. On easy, you have a high chance, normal you have a normal chance, and also hard you have a normal chance as well. I'm quite pleased I'm not seeing a low chance to recruit knights on here on hard mode. That would be really, really bad, especially because you only have 60 seasons to conquer the continent on hard mode anyway, so that's legit. I like that. The fourth category is how often the computer sends inactive knights on quests. On easy mode, they never send them on quests. On normal, they have 50% chances. And on hard mode, they will be sending knights out to do quests every single turn. If you are wanting to have an easier time collecting knights to fill up your records of history book on the title screen, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and do an easy mode playthrough to be sure that you grab each individual knight that you can without the AI taking them from you. Next category is how many units the computer will organize into one troop. Within easy mode, they organize up to 60% of their magic pool, 80% on normal, and 100% on hard. You will definitely see a drastic differences in these difficulty levels with this particular percentage because 60% is give or take two or three monsters on a troop, 80% maybe four, and on hard mode, it's like five to six for sure. So you'll definitely see a big difference, but yes, 60, 80, and then 100. Next category is how often the computer invades other nations. We've been in a lot of complaints on this one saying that they don't invade so often. Here's the reason. If you're playing on normal, it's a normal chance that they will invade each other. On hard mode, they invade very often. You can get some evidence on that on my playthrough that I'm doing on a Holy Gustava. And of course, easy is seldom. So if you're playing on easy, you're not going to see a lot of back and forth from the AI attacking each other. Next category is when the computer will start launching invasions at the earliest. This is definitely increasing the difficulty on early game stages because they will invade Season 4 on easy, Season 3 on normal, but on hard mode, they will invade you on Season 2. So you have literally one turn to organize your troops, get ready to defend, and then they're going to start coming at you. Going down the list, next category we have which unit the computer withdraws first during a retreat. This is an interesting one and it kind of played out like this in the original games. The knights will either withdraw first or wait for their monsters to take action, getting experience, getting extra kills and stuff like that on your armies before they get out of dodge. On easy and normal, they will retreat first. On hard mode, their monsters will attack first, and then the knight will retreat. Almost complete here, next category, computer takes opponent counterattacks into consideration during combat. Very, very simple to understand. On easy mode, they do not consider it, and normal and hard, they do consider it. And finally, the last category, we have computer takes map conditions or terrain into consideration during combat. This is the only one that I actually wish they would change because I heavily feel that they should change normal mode to actually consider terrain advantages. Maybe give it like a less percentage maybe. I would say like easy mode 10%, normal mode 50%, and hard mode 100% for sure. And that's all I wanted to go over today folks. I really hope this gave you some insight on how your game is going to play out depending on what difficulty you pick. If you have any further discussion on these topics or any questions about them, please leave them in the comments below. If you have not hit up my guide playlist on this game yet, you can find the playlist in the top right hand corner of this video and also in the description. Any more Brigandine resources you want access to, you can find in the description as well, including other content creators on both Twitch and YouTube, and also the Brigandine Discord server, the wiki page, etc. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, including guide videos and LP series, and I will catch you in the next one. I am your host, Bako Sunari. See you on the battlefield, Rune Knights. Peace. Bye.